Are we taking hostages now? No, we're not taking hostages now. Take the scenic route? Got a problem. What? Oh, look. So what? What's the matter? Let me see that thing. She lives four blocks away from me. Yeah, I know where we are, Glones. She didn't see anything. Are you sure? Taking her for a ride didn't help. I'm gonna start a licking like car. We'll find out. Find out what? If she needs to get scared. She's already scared. Well, maybe not scared enough. Coming off Gone Baby Gone, um, were you apprehensive at all about doing another film, you know, set in Boston? You know, not to become the Boston guy. Yeah, or? exactly. I didn't want. I didn't want to be pigeonholed as someone who could only make movies in Boston. I want to have a career as a director mm. where I get to make, you know, movies like in Rhode Island, maybe, <laughs> or New Hampshire. Um, I hear there's good in tax incentives in Connecticut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like get out. There. Well, that's a little outside <laughs> of his area of expertise. Um, but I wanted to, uh, yeah, I didn't want to get pigeonholed, but by the same token, I was really excited by the story. I wanted to play the role, and so I took, took the lead. One of the great things about this film is it um, really shows some of your acumen as an action director. I thought the action sequences in this film were great. You know, do you, do you, when you do scenes like that, do you say, you know what, I could do a Born Identity. I could, like, go off and do a film like that. Well, with the editor from Born Identity was the editor on this movie, Chris Rouse, who's an old mm. friend of ours, and, uh, and uh, Jason Bourne I know. And I actually uh, didn't mean to connect no, that, like somehow insinuate you would do the next board. I meant in no, general. No, no, no. Like that I know what film. you mean. I'm just saying, like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm, I kind of know the people who do those movies, yeah. and I kind of know how that works. And I've sort of se not, not that I could do it, but I've sort of seen it. And um, you know, I see Born Identity as, as as like a movie. I mean, it's obviously a much bigger and, and, and cooler movie, but it's like um, that. What what it does is something that I tried to do, which is it takes action, mm. but it puts character into it. So right. you're following like the person, you identify with the person. They're not a Superman. They're like, I mean, obviously he's a bit of a Superman, but you know, there's somebody that you can kind of identify with, and so that's exactly kind of what I wanted to do in this movie. We didn't have karate, and we didn't have budgets, and we didn't have all that stuff. But you know, when we did our, our kind of retro, you know, car chase and mm. shootouts, I wanted you to feel like you were with, you know, Renner. I wanted you to feel like you were you identified with him, and you identified with him when he's running across the street and shooting. It's not just pyrotechnics; it's like a person that you're feeling with. Would I like to go do a big action movie? Not as much as I'd like to do a. You know, like a, a movie that had like a. I, I've always liked science fiction. You know, like mm. I would do like a Blade Runner or something. I mean, you know, Blade Runner is one of the great movies of all yeah. time. But a movie that's that creates a world, I think, would be really interesting. I mean, the action is is fun. I think action goes in, in in certain places in most movies. But I would definitely like to take another step and do something of, you know, wider scope in Vermont. <laughs> in Vermont, directing yourself though in the film was it harder or easier than you you thought it might be? Both. You know, it was harder because there was no, it took so much time and it took time away from the mm. directing. It was easier in the sense that I kept thinking, how will I know, you know, how will I, who will I talk to? And then I realized that, you know, as an actor, you kind of have your own instincts and you sort of do it anyway. So it was like, you know, if you want to keep going, you get to keep going. You don't have the director tell you, like, oh, no, we got it, you know. So I would just do a sort of a range of things, shoot a lot of film, <clears throat> and then the place that I directed myself was in the editing room, which is actually where you kind of direct most of the mm -hmm. actors anyway. I mean, you can sort of, you, you, mod, you modify, I think, like 10% or something on the set, because you get, like, I had great actors. They showed up. They knew what they were doing. Um, it was really just kind of in the like, ah, oh, well, if you do that, he can't do that, or maybe try this. But really, they're doing all their work. And then, you know, I make choices about their performances when I cut it together, and, and same for myself. When you look at a project now, do you feel as though you're looking at it from a director's point of view or from an actor's point of view? I think I always looked at it from a story point of view, the kind of movie I wanted to be in. Um, maybe a little bit more in terms of, like, what scares me about what would have to be done directorially or what excites <laughs> me, you know, or I think, like, I don't know about all this. Um, so maybe a touch more from a director's point of view, I guess.